It's going to be another challenging morning. Northbound I-5 through DuPont is moving. We don't have to worry about that side, but this is a live look at I-5 southbound. Obviously, all lanes still closed and traffic being detoured. And there's really not a good detour around this thing. Here's a look at a busy uh, Highway 7 already this morning. Wet conditions and it is congested on the road uh, through Spanaway, through Roy, down to Yelm, and then back onto I-5. One of the main detours tours to get around this uh, accident scene to the south and to the north. It takes you many miles out of your way. This is another preferred alternate route that WashDOT is sending out, taking Highway 16 across the Tacoma Narrows Bridge up to near Port uh, Orchard, down to Shelton on Highway 3 and then back west toward Olympia. It takes you 73 almost 75 miles out of your way, but at least it involves roads that can handle uh, some volumes. Here's a look at a wet highway 16. Uh, we are looking at more congestion than usual on ferry boats. Ferry travel expected to be especially busy as people head to the Olympic Peninsula that way to get around this. JBLM detours, not an option this morning. In fact, I talked to WashDOT yesterday. They said it was never really intended for all of the volumes on southbound I-5. It was really only uh, intended to help out local travelers, people who had to get around the immediate area. And for people who work at JBLM, uh, Mounts Road entrance to Fort Lewis is closed and not open to morning traffic. Military people who use that uh, entrance use DuPont or the main gate. That from Washington State Trooper Brooke Bova. So it's going to be another very complicated, busy day of detours. We will track uh, all the latest. We're still, uh, we're already looking at a lot of congestion on one of the detours to the south through Yelm.